What's up guys? We are back for another hot sauce and today I have another new one to try. It, it comes from Hella Hot Hot Sauce. Uh, these guys are out of Campbell, California. Um, I really do appreciate them sending this to me. Uh, I cannot wait to dive into this. Uh, it's got all kinds of things going on in this. Just looking from the bottle. I mean, look at all that going on in there. There is just tons, tons of stuff going on in there. Uh, I mean, you can literally see all the ingredients in that uh, bottle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and crack it open, and we're going to read the ingredients, and we're going to jump on into it. I really do dig the uh, label. It's just uh, simple. Uh, you can tell somebody uh, hand-did it. Um, with the artwork, it's very cool. My wife even said, uh, "Who put you on that uh, that uh, hot sauce bottle?" I said, "That is not me." Okay, um, I have shaved the beard off and everything. Um, I appreciate it, but that's not me. Uh, we'll go ahead and read the ingredients, crack this thing open, and see what it's all about. Wow! Right off the bat, I smell a nice uh, roasted pepper. Uh, like a faint vinegar. Wow. I smell a little sweetness. But uh, the roasted peppers. It smells like roasted peppers. I don't know if it is roasted peppers. But it's what it smells like. It just reminds me of summer. And just kicking back. And grilling. And drinking a cold one. I mean this white pleasant smell. So I, I'm just off the aroma. I, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, I've been tricked before, but generally with these sauces, these people take a lot of care and attention to detail and what they do. And this is not stuff that you just go and run and buy in the store. This stuff is craft hot sauce. Um, it is, it is, most of the stuff that I review and try are generally pretty good sauces. I, I don't come along, come across a lot of bad sauces. But occasionally I come across some mediocre stuff. But it's still not bad. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, not too runny, not too thick. Uh, it's got some chunks in there. I'm digging that. Um, you can't really see without me spilling. I can't even talk right today. Spilling. Spilling. Uh, let's jump into it. Interesting. I've never had a flavor like that before. Um, uh, sweet, almost like I said, I've never had rhubarb, but it's almost like a, a celery type flavor with a sweetness, and uh, definitely tastes of Serrano's. Um, uh, uh, a tad bit of vinegar, but it's not overbearing. Wow, that is very interesting. I've never had a, a sauce like that. A totally different taste. Um, uh, ghost peppers are probably what I'm, uh, I'm feeling right back here. Because generally, uh, serranos and, and things like that um, tend to be a mouth burn. Let me read the ingredients real quick. Alright, we got strawberries, jalapenos, tomato, rhubarb. Serranos, Thai chilies, distilled white vinegar, distilled water, sea salt, lime juice, cilantro, brown sugar, cayenne, ghost pepper powder, garlic, herbs, and spices. Wait, yeah, I mean, I, I got it. Let me see if I can get the, the, the taste of cilantro in there. Uh, if it is, it's, it's not overpowering. Cause cilantro can overtake something so quick. Um, my wife digs cilantro. She's a big cilantro person. I have like four or five plants out in the yard. Um, but let me, let me hit it again. I still have, I don't know if I'm, I'm tasting the cilantro or the lime juice. There's so much going on. Um, it's not bad at all. It's, it's very good. Uh, wow. I mean, there's a lot going on in this sauce. Very, yeah. Very vegetable, sweet, spicy flavors going on. I guess that vegetable taste is the rhubarb. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, 
you know, combined with the uh, sweetness from the strawberries. Uh, the strawberries don't overtake anything, but I think he was trying to go with the sweetness, of the sweet, and maybe the little tartness of the strawberries to go along with everything else. Uh, definitely with that, with that uh, tablespoon, I'm definitely getting more of a burn in the back. Um, I'm definitely not getting the ghost pepper flavor, but I'm definitely getting some of the ghost pepper heat from the powder in the back of the throat. But it's not super hot. It's actually pretty enjoyable. Uh, I can use this on a lot of things. Um, probably uh, on anything from any kind of salad, mixing it with maybe some ranch dressing and some salads, uh, using on veggies, uh, on red meats. I could see using it with, um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's pretty good. I, I, I would even use this on on tacos, to tell you the truth, because you get that slight aftertaste of cilantro, but it's so faint in the background, which you can tell it's there, but it's it's just really is it is they did a nice job of uh, not overing powering it with the cilantro, but uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, you get, you really get the jalapeno and the serrano uh, burn up front in the mouth. It's nothing super hot. I would say this is, uh, if you like spicy, you would like this. Um, super chili heads would like this. Uh, people getting into spiciness would like this. Uh, this is something that's not going to kill you, but it's something that you can use every day. Uh, if you like uh, if you like spiciness, but you don't want to go super hot, or you don't want to take something so so mild that you got to dump half the bottle on it, uh, I think this kind of hits hits that that middle road. Uh, very unique, though. Unique. Um, excuse me. Uh, I've never had that kind of uh, celery type sweetness uh, hot sauce. So this is a first for me. Uh, I do dig it. I give it a thumbs up. I really like it. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, the guy sending it to me. If you are interested in this sauce, uh, go to Hella Hot Sauce or Hella Hot Hot Sauce dot com and check them out. And uh, tell them I sent you, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll get a close up of this. Very interesting sauce. Check that out, man. There's just a lot going on in there. Um, they did a good job with this. This is a unique sauce. Um, so, with that, guys, I appreciate it. Have a good day. Peace out. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.